up guys it's alex here and welcome to another game of the 2020 ncaa tournament being played or i guess simulated on ncaa basketball 10 we have four seed louisville who survived against 13 seed vermont against number 12 seed stephen f austin who was able to upset ohio state right there as you can see 23 to 15 they absolutely destroyed that second half but we have a pretty good game i'm really interested to see i think louisville is by far the better team here yeah louisville is an a minus overall Stephen F. Austin is a C- minus overall, but as we saw, upsets can happen. I think Ohio State was like an A overall, and Stephen F. Austin was able to upset them. Will we see an upset here in the second round to go into the Sweet 16? Let's see. I don't know why he said Midwest region. Obviously, this one is the cell. And these rosters will be updated with actual ones once we get to the Elite Eight. Number four, Louisville. Or Louisville. Versus number 12, Stephen F. Austin. Let's get this one tipped off. And after all that anticipation, we're underway. Man, the ball. Moving the ball around. I think that's Francisco Garcia with the ball, number 23. Number 34, though, gets the fade away to go already. 2 nothing. Louisville opening it up with an easy basket there. And trapping Stephen F. Austin in the backcourt. Stephen F. Austin is having some trouble here with that full court press. And they turn it over. Louisville gets a steal driving. I think that's Edgar Sosa. He gets the basket to go. They could take the lead 4 to 0. Louisville opening up the lead already. The spin move by Stephen F. Austin. But they miss. I thought that one was going to go in. That Louisville Cardinal is getting excited over there on the bit on the baseline Louisville tough shot a little bit of contact no fouls called though no harm no foul let's see what Stephen F Austin does here on the offensive end looking down low Stephen F Austin rising firing but missing their coach is not happy at all as you can see over there he's winning them to swing the ball but they are not doing so right now Louisville moving the ball around on the perimeter looking down low 15 rises fires and knocks it down. Louisville takes an early 6-0 lead. And trapping him in the backcourt. Stephen F. Austin is still having some trouble there breaking that press. They have number three, but they didn't notice him down low. They start to drive. A little bit of contact there. Still no foul call. The refs have swallowed their whistle so far. And Louisville gets the rebound. Stephen F. Austin, though, slamming the floor, as you can see right there. They want to get a stop here on defense. Louisville rising, firing, fading away, not connecting. Stephen F. Austin gets the stop that they so desperately needed there. Let's see how they can do on the offensive end. Can they get their first points of the game on this possession? Looking down low. Good pass. They get it to go. That scoreless thing disappears. Two minutes into the ball game, Stephen F. Austin is able to get their first two points up on the board. Their coach is pretty happy there. They want to control the tempo of this ball game. But Sosa did break their point guard, but they look down low and they draw the foul. There is Rick Patino over there. He is, I guess, kind of happy. He's just instructing his team. Misses the first free throw, though. They get the second to go. Louisville opens up the 7-2 lead. The first two games today have gone down to the final shot. Will this third game do it? Probably not. It looks like Louisville's going to win this one pretty handily, but you never know, especially if CNF Austin makes a shot here. It'll be a one-possession game. They look down low, and they do make the shot. 7-4. Louisville almost turns the ball over there. They almost turn it over again. Stephen F. Austin is getting a little bit feisty here on defense. 
I don't know where Stephen F. Austin's coach was looking there. Louisville bringing it back out a little bit. They want to reset this offense. Let's see some off-ball movement. Yeah, now we got some movement going. Looking for a three here. Number 34 rises, fires, and knocks it down. Easy money there. Great off-ball movement there for Louisville. 10-4. to four. This one's starting to get a little bit out of hand here. If you're Stephen F. Austin, it's still a two-possession game, but it definitely doesn't feel like that. Maybe an offensive foul here. Yep, an offensive foul. He just pushed down number 34. That's why the big guy doesn't bring up the ball. So Louisville, under two minutes to go here in the first half, takes the lead, working the ball around. Edgar Sosa, I think was his name back in 2010, now takes the ball at 34. The rises, fires, takes the three. Kind of a bad shot, not really what they were looking for, but he misses. Stephen F. Austin, though, gets the rebound. Let's see if they can get some points on the board here with a minute and a half to go in the first half. Looking down low, 34. Misses the shot. Louisville does get the rebound. Looking down low, 23. Turns, rises, fires, but does not get it. Stephen F. Austin is getting some stops here on defense. But they are just not connecting on the offensive end so far. They're only two for six so far. But both their or both their baskets have come in the paint. They shoot the three, and they knock it down. As soon as I mention the points in the paint, they go and knock down a three. It is now a one possession ball game. It definitely doesn't feel like that, but it is now ten to seven. Lola fans over there on the right side, they are starting to get hyped. They want their team to start doing better. And Louisville knocks down the three to respond to Stephen F. Austin there and open that lead back up to six. And bring the de defensive pressure. They knock it loose, and they get the steal. Louisville looking down low. Number 34 gets caught up, though. He is passing it back out to number 10. Louisville now. Shot clock is turned off. They can just save this for the last shot of the half. Looking down low, though. It gets blocked. Stephen F. Austin somehow comes up with a stop on the defensive end there. With 10 seconds to go in the first half, let's see what they do. Looking down low. Number 21, a spin move. The horrible shot does not connect, but he gets his own offensive rebound. And he puts it back in as the clock expires. Louisville is walking into the half with a 13-9 advantage. Both teams, it says, are staying out of foul trouble. Zero team fouls, but I guess it's reset here to the second half because there were a couple fouls there in the first. Stephen F. Austin breaking the huddle here. They know what they need to do here to cut that lead and potentially end up winning this game as a 12th seed and moving on to Sweet 16. Looking down low, Stephen F. Austin riders, or riders. Rises and does not connect. 13 to 9, Louisville. Let's see if they can extend the lead to potentially a three possession lead if they hit the three here. What are they going to draw up? Working the pick and roll, kind of an opposite of what you normally do. And they knock down the three. Louisville opens up the lead to 16 to 9 to a seven point advantage. And they're trapping Stephen F. Austin back in the backcourt. They do it again. And they get the steal. Driving down low. And they slam it home. Louisville is just now opening up the second half. They are just on an absolute tear right now. They are looking to move the ball around. 18-9 to 9 with four minutes to go. Stephen F. Austin rising, firing, yeah, and missing. I think this one's over. <laughs> four minutes into the ballgame. I am calling it. Normally, I'd be rooting for the lower seed. To come back and win, but I mean, this whole game has just been in favor of Louisville. They missed the shot though, but they get the offensive board and they put it back in. It is now 20 to 9. Yeah, normally I feel like the lower seed has always a chance of getting back into the game, but it felt like it feels like Louisville's been in control this entire time. Ooh, almost a turnover there. Surprised that wasn't a backcourt violation. Louisville now on a 10 to 2 run, as you can see. Stephen F. Austin. Oh, what a great post move, though. I'll give him some credit there. He faked that Louisville defender out. Nine-point game with three minutes to go. There's still a chance. 
I highly doubt it'll actually happen, but I mean, there's still a chance. Looking down low to number 34, he rises, and he misses. Stephen F. Austin still has a lot of work to do to make up that deficit, but they're per put putting in that effort right now. They got a point, or they got a basket on that last play. I don't know what I'm saying. And they got a stop there on the defensive end. Looking down low, dangerous pass, but it connects either way. Stephen F. Austin now cutting the lead back to seven. Edgar Sosa with the ball. Passing it to number four. Back out to number 23. Will he rise and fire? Oh no, you see number four driving down there. He shoots it, fading away, and connects. Opens the lead back up to nine with just under two and a half minutes to go. And they're bringing the backcourt press. Stephen Afosson gets it across midcourt. Will we see another offensive foul? I don't know. A lot of movement there. Yep, it does look like it was an offensive foul. Louisville getting possession again. They can open it back up to those 11 points that we just saw a little bit ago. Let's see what happens. Louisville driving and connecting. Louisville opening it back up to an 11-point lead. Louisville is now up 24-13. to Stephen F. Austin just needs to get something going here. They had a little bit of a run. And granted, it was a 4-0 run. But let's see. Oh, will they be doing a post up here? They have number three open for a three, and it gets tipped by the Louisville defender. This one is over. A minute and a half to go. Louisville is up by 11. And J-Red 52 simulation of the tournament. Louisville lost in that first round to Vermont. But it looks like here they will be moving on to the Sweet 16. Stephen F. Austin gets the turnover, but I think at this point it's probably a little bit too late. Let's go, Cardinals is what the crowd's chaining. My alma mater in real life, Stephen F. Austin does not connect. Louisville is my alma mater, not Stephen F. Austin. They are going to be moving on to the Sweet 16, though I guess I should be happy there. Stephen F. Austin is starting to foul here. I hate how they do this, so I will pick it up once we get to the one and ones So Stephen F. Austin does get a rebound here. Louisville tried to get a quick shot off. It did not connect, and the warm-up the bus chants are going. Stephen F. Austin does get the shot to fall, though. I guess I'll just go ahead and stick with these uh, intentional fouls. I think that's number four or five so far on Stephen F. Austin. Warm up the bus. Warm up the bus. This is what I normally skip throughout the course of my videos. It just adds like an extra minute of just these random fouls that aren't very exciting to watch. But I guess I'll go ahead and keep recording it for you guys. Now they are at the line here. Louisville knocks down the first one to open up that lead back to double digits. But he misses the second one, though. Stephen F. Austin looking here. If they could get a three, it may mean something. They get the and one, though. Doug Forbes is fouling Stephen F. Austin. It looks like the intentional fouls will probably be continuing. And he gets it to go. 25 to 18. I mean, Lobo's still going to win this one, but at least Stephen F. Austin is trying to make it a little bit interesting. Makes the first one. And he gets the second to go as well. Stephen F. Austin takes the timeout. Alrighty, coming out of the timeout here. 40 seconds left to go in this ball game. Louisville is up by 9, 27 to 18. This one is pretty much over. Stephen F. Austin, though, is just looking to cover the spread. They take a deep two. Maybe it was a three, but it's not going to matter. Stephen F. Austin is going to go ahead and foul. But Louisville is going to walk out of here with the W. Warm up the bus. Warm up the bus. 
Misses the first one. Stephen F. Austin gets the rebound, pushing the ball up the floor, trying to get an easy basket there. A little bit of contact, but no foul is called. And now Stephen F. Austin, the Lumberjacks, are calling off the dogs. Louisville is going to walk out of here with the W and move on to the Sweet 16. I guess that's Kyle Couric there, number 14. Edgar Sosa just adding salt to the wound with that shot. He wanted to win by double digits. 29 to 18 now. Where is Stephen F. Austin going? They shoot the three. And it does not fall. Louisville wins 29 to 18 over 12 seed Stephen F. Austin. Chris Major winning player of the game for Louisville. So Louisville punches their ticket to the Sweet 16. They will face the winner of 1 seed Baylor and 8 seed St. Mary's. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next game.